Neil, Geralt of Rivia, White Wolf. Well, either she's going to knight me or behead me. Kind of hoping it's uh, the former, but. You traveled a long path fraught with danger. You demonstrated courage and goodness. By divine power, I hereby knight you. Release your enemies without fear. Safeguard the helpless. Never lie, even if it means your death. That is your oath. Never lie. Arise, a knight. Never lie. Destiny will give you no rest. A long road lies ahead. I see death and blood. I see frosty chaos. Take this sword as a sign of my favor. Once the blade of a great warrior, it lay in the depths for ages, awaiting your arrival. Milady. Shh, Witcher. It matters not if you believe in destiny. With the blade I present you, you will complete your mission. Thank you, milady. Go, White Wolf, and do what must be done. May you fulfill your destiny. Could we go back to the bit about never lying? Okay, so I've got myself a new sword, and my old sword just fell over. Okay, I was going to say, my old sword seems to be standing there, pointing out the water, but now it's fallen over. And I can't pick it up. Which is really annoying. Erendite. Damage 60%, attack plus 10 that's pretty good. This means I'm going to hit more often, I think. That in itself is a fairly big thing. Chance of critical effects, pain, blinding, incineration, precise, hit 50%. Right. And I can't... I can't place it. I mean, I know it's better than my rune sword, but I really object to just leaving my rune sword lying here in a pool of water. I almost feel like I want to go back to town and put my sword in storage and then run back here and pick this up and then put this in storage because I don't... I've only just got this. It's... It's just slightly annoying. I guess it's not going to happen. Anyway, so we've, we've killed Dagon and we've got ourselves a new sword. We've... Okay, Alvin. An extraordinary sword. The Lady of the Lake must think be important. The Lady of the Lake, she was worth seeing. But there's no... Okay, what... Do I have all the things I need to do there? Okay, it, it's... No, it's... Wait, it's... It's, it's like pointing at the sword, it's like... But that's... The rune sword is not what she gave me. She gave me this named sword. What the hell? Are, oh, it's frogs. I, um... Okay. Armor. I need to find the... Okay, I still need to find a crypt. Beringer's secret. Beringer admitted that he worked with Salamandra. You should pay dearly for it. He should dearly pay for it. I'm not totally convinced of that. I, I mean, what he did was wrong, but also slightly understandable. Berengar is a bitter man. He told me he hates witches and is miserable as a mutant who is resented by humans. He also admitted he worked with Salamandra, partly because he sees no difference between their methods and those of witches. I mean, I disagree with him, but at the same time, you can't argue with the fact that they took him as a child and they turned him into a mutant and an, an outcast and he wants to have a family and a normal life and I just find that impossible to hate him for secondary quests god I've never noticed this <laughs> I can actually prologue I don't 
Okay. Wow, I, I, I didn't actually notice this. Which chapter am I in right now? Well, I must be in five. Yes, I am, because otherwise I wouldn't... Okay. Um, all right. Should we go talk to Beringer? Let's have a look. Fist fight, poker, identity, that's me and my... Who the hell am I? The sword I received has a destiny of its own. Time will tell what the destiny is. I'm going to predict its destiny is stabbing things. It's just a wild guess, but I bet it's right. Okay, um, it is light. Sharp as a razor, fits the hand neatly. It's also a gift from a goddess. I have a feeling it would be very useful. Yes, because we'll be stabbing things with it. Which is secrets. Okay, won't hurt a bit. I don't actually have any other... Except, I mean, Al Alvin doesn't have any steps. Armor... Such a crypt, I've searched it. Beringer... Okay, I'm, I'm a little on the old, um... Lost side. Maybe I go speak to Beringer again. Maybe he'll talk to me. Okay, can I get past you? I'm not going to be able to get past you, am I? It's just not. It's nothing personal. I mean, don't take it, you know, too seriously that I don't want to come over there and viciously murder you. Okay, right. Okay, stop dancing. I took the sword out because it allows me to move faster. Not because I wanted to do shuffle and slide. Okay. Berenger, I betrayed Kier Moran's location to the Salamandra leader. Then I helped them with their research. I was hunting the beast in the outskirts of Vizima when they captured me. I escaped and ran into Kalkstein, accepting his offer to open the tower in the swamp. That's when they nabbed me again. They weren't as nice the second time around. Finding Alvin, bringing him to them, was the only way I could save my skin. Why are you telling me this? I wanted to tell you to your face. See that famous icy glare of yours. <sighs> yeah, I, I, I'm not... The whole thing with Alvin, that, that's pretty cowardly. Enough traitor, I don't hear any... I don't hear remorse, all I hear is self-pity. You hate what the witches did to you, alright, but you joined a group of subjects of children to experiments with mutagens. This is also true! <sighs> that's the thing. Everything he's done is wrong. Every single thing he's done is wrong. And in many ways, he deserves to die. Not only for betraying Kaer Morin. You know, people died there. People died there. A lot of people probably have died because of the events. And the whole thing with Alvin, that was just, that was weak. But I just, I, I just, I can't, I can't hate him. I think he's sad. I think he's lost. But no, I just, I can't do it. I don't intend to judge you. Does that mean you understand? You don't condemn me? Yeah, it's, it's, condemn you a little, maybe. I understand, though. I can't condone your choices, but I guess I understand. I mean, that, that's that's really it. When it comes down to it, I, I do condemn you. But I don't hate you, and I don't... I do understand. I guess. I can't condone your choices, but I guess I understand. Meaning? Do what you think is right. I'm not your nanny. Take this. We'll meet again, White Wolf. Okay. I should get back to the lakeside, okay? I mean, in... Received Dagon's sap? Wait... Isn't that what I use for that mutagen? 
Dagon sap is what I used for that mutagen. I'm pretty sure that's what I used for the mutagen. And haven't I already used it? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Dagon sap. Uh, but I don't have enough ingredients. I don't actually have any alcohol. That's bloody why. Don't have... No, it says I don't have the special substance according to this. I think that means don't have. And why did it say... Dagon sap. That, 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 that's just weird. That is weird. I didn't think it was going to let me make another mutagen. I mean... It was... I can't remember which one it was, actually. I think it was that one. I think it was that one. True Grit. I might be wrong. That was odd. Beringer went his own way. I doubt we'll meet again. After following in his tracks for so long, I found myself unable to strike Beringer down. He's flawed and full of doubt, but he became... But he become a decent individual someday? I wonder how Beringer's story will end. He might become a... He might, he might become a decent individual, but to be honest with you... He just... His, his story is just sad. And so's he. He's not evil, he's not bad, he's, he's just, he's literally, he's a tragic character. Anyway, we've got to get back to Lakeside, so... Hopefully we'll find out what we're supposed to do next. I'm still a little freaked out about the Dagon Sap. I thought it said I got more Dagon Sap. You'd have to ask where the hell he got it from. Okay. Geralt of Rivia. I've oft heard of your death. Forgive me, but I don't think I've ever heard of yours. White Rayla. What brings you here, Witcher? Slaying Boat. monsters. Nothing unusual. Have you seen a unit of elves in the area? No. No units. Watch what you say. You're hardly untouchable. If I discover you working with the Scoyotel... Threatening me? No. Merely helping you to avoid a serious error whose consequences <sighs> might prove too dire for you to handle. You watch your step, too. I'm not some emaciated elf. I can defend myself. I don't doubt it. Know that Vizima is burning. Non-humans have turned it into a war zone. Those poor starving elves are murdering humans by the dozen. Well, my orders are to hold the unit to Ruvia Lepshahil commands, and I won't have you getting in my way. I They're like cowering in the village and have taken hostages. We'll attack soon. I'll talk to the elves. Maybe they'll listen to reason. Siegfried vouched for you, so I'll give you a chance. Your intervention at the bank prevented the Scoyotel from gaining gold to buy arms and provisions. Though weak, I doubt they'll heed you. But you never know. Promise them a fair trial if they lay down their arms. I'll try to persuade them. Wait until I return. You have my word. Oh, what? Go to the village and speak with Teruvial. I... I don't think they're going to lay down their arms for a fair trial, and I don't think they're going to get a fair trial. Okay, well, this sucks. Okay. Go to the village. Okay, murky waters. All right. Oh, God. I really do not want to get into the middle of this fight. I like Siegfried, but I also like Teruviel. And more importantly, I don't agree... Well, I don't actually agree with... Oh, hello. Either of you. 
I don't agree with the Scoia'tael's tactics. And I don't really agree with the Order of the Flaming Rose. Okay. I'm gonna check the body out. I mean, to be honest, there's absolutely nothing about the Order of the Flaming Rose that I like, except Siegfried. Sort of almost wish I could convince him to leave that group. I don't want to fight them. I just I don't want to get involved. Order Footman. Okay. Are you going to try and stop me? Eternal fire, fill my heart. Okay. As White Rayla's adjutant, I would like a word with you, Witcher. I spoke to Rayla. Heard enough for today. Rayla is an excellent officer and truly detests non-humans. Perfect to lead this mission. But let me guess. I'm not. Though she's a mercenary, she has her honor and keeps her word. Yet she's prepared to avert a massacre of civilians, even if that means the elves will escape. We foiled the robbery at Vivaldi's bank, and the Scoyatel are weakened. We can afford the best mercenaries, yet we cannot trust Rayla as we trust you. Looking to recruit me? Am I to stand with Rayla and kill the elves before they murder the hostages? Give me one good reason why I shouldn't just walk. I'll put it in your terms. Monsters infest the village, hunt its inhabitants. They are destitute and hungry, and all the more dangerous for that. Stand with Rayla, Witcher, with the Order, against these monsters. Why would I monsters. do that? For some of Vivaldi's gold? No, to support a just cause and prevent a massacre like that in the outskirts, and to save your friends from ravenous beasts. They're not monsters! Seriously! They're people! I hate to tell you this, Mr. Order Footman. You're the true monsters. Geralt? Dandelion. Teruviel's elves have taken hostages in the village. Oh, what do we do? I spoke with Rayla. She's leading the Knights of the Order. Geralt. Alvin's one of the hostages. I know. I'll try negotiating with them. All right. I'll keep a lookout behind the village mayor's house. When you're ready, come tell me what to do. I need to talk to White Rayla and Teruviel. Somehow I doubt this will be easy. You'll manage. Oh, See God, you. Really? I'm glad you have faith. Um, I must speak with Teruvial before I decide. Well, that's my intention. Okay, I'm away, dude. Prize-winning cow. Dwarven berserker. Elf. What a dump. Says a man wearing that helmet. Idleness tires me. Hostage, hostage. Back, blacksmith. Hmm. Okay. There's Alvin. I can Yes? You alright? No. I feel strange. I can hear what they're thinking. It's terrible, Geralt. Do you have the necklace? Yes. I wear it all the time. I don't want to hear them. Geralt, why are the elves doing this? They're fighting for their freedom, for an ideal. Humans have been had them up against the wall and they see another way. The, the elf refuse to concede that the world has changed. They cannot win, but still they fight. It's their sad, desperate attempt at a halting evolution. They've lost their lofty, beautiful veneer. One can clearly see the deep hatred they hold for humans. See, see I, I, I don't think that's the way to go here. They're fighting for the freedom, for an ideal. Humans have them up against the wall and see no other way. Honestly, I think that's actually the truth of it, but the elves refuse to see that the world has changed. They cannot win, but still they fight. It's kind of a mix, really. It really is. They are. They do want their freedom, but that's not going to happen. Humans have won. Humans are in control. Humans are everywhere. At least from what I can see. If they're going to try and take Vizima about, they want Vizima. It's just not going to happen. At the same time, they're treated really badly. 
The Earls refuse to concede that the world has changed. They cannot win, but still they fight. It's their sad, desperate attempt at halting evolution. That, that sounds a little judgmental against them, because honestly, at the moment, I don't feel very judgmental against anybody. Except the Order. I'm really not pleased with them. They're fighting for their freedom, for an ideal. Humans have them up against a wall, and they see no other way. <sighs> Difficult choice. I think it's the middle road here. The elves refuse to concede that the world has changed. They cannot win, but still they fight. It's their sad, desperate attempt at halting evolution. I'll remember that, Geralt. Something bad is about to happen. I can feel it. I've got to talk to Turuviel. Stay here. And where is Turuviel? When will this end? Over there. She's in Selena's house, maybe? I stay and rot here. Really? It's locked. Okay, she's not in. Should I? D Dandelion? Okay, I can't find Teruvio. Oh, there she is, there she is. Oh my god, she was right in front of me. Geralt, why have you come? I've come to prevent a massacre. There will be no massacre if they let us depart. You could have left the children alone. In faith, I could not. White Rayla stands on that shore. Several peasant corpses made no impression on her. The children halted her advance. Oh, you didn't kill peasants. At least let Alvin go. Uh, what about the rest? You see that the, these are the villagers. Nothing against you. They had nothing against you. From what I heard, they 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 didn't hate elves. The people in Vizima, yeah, I can sort of understand why you were slightly annoyed with them. But these guys just at least let Alvin go. Well, what about the rest? White Rayla wants you to lay down your arms. She guarantees you a fair trial. You take me for a fool, Witcher. No. White Rayla exacts only one punishment, death. The unit from Vizima spoke of you. Why should I trust you? Release the peasants, then you can kill each other as you please. I shall release no one. Try any of your tricks and these Dwan will die. And tell that singer to cease lurking behind the house before someone puts an arrow in his ass. When will this end? I know, dude. I really do not know. Carol? Okay, I'm gonna talk to Alvin again. Wait I'm gonna talk here. to Alvin again. I'll try talking to Alvin. Yeah, that's 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 a pretty good idea. Maybe Alvin can do something magical. Alvin. Geralt, take me with you. I'll be good. Of course. Patience, Alvin. Of course it's all right. Oh. Where is she? Where is she? Seriously? Yes? At least let Alvin go. At least let Alvin go. No. Oh, fine. Geralt? Dandelion, things have gone from bad to worse. Scoyatel on one side, the Order on the other, and us in the middle with Alvin. One should never negotiate with terrorists. Negotiation leads to concessions. Concessions are a victory for terror. Folks become fearful, uncertain. I chose the lesser evil. The bank's new owners were grateful for the Order's intervention. They agreed to support the crusade against non-humans. What? We won't need to wait long to see the results. What? Geralt, what now? Leaving's not an option. You'd make enemies of both the Order and the non-humans. I'm not worried about that. I'd rather save Alvin, but if I go, there could be a massacre, and I have friends to think about. Witcher, this feels like a pivotal moment. What you do will have consequences. So do we grab Alvin and leave them to it? Oh. Uh, oh, God. Oh, right. Oh. Oh, do I help the knights? 
Massacre the elves. But if I don't, are the elves going to massacre the villagers? Oh, I just don't want to be in the middle of this. Oh. What was all that? I don't negotiate with terrorists. Rubbish. We've just been negotiating. That's what we've just been doing. Badly, yes. But nevertheless, that's what we were doing. We were failing at it, but we were negotiating. Oh. Duh. I don't want to help the knights. I do not want to help the knights eradicate the elves. I don't want to let the elves kill the humans either. But this is not what I do. I protect people from monsters. And in this case, everyone's a monster. Except the villagers, I guess. I, I just... <sighs> I do not want to help the knights kill the Skoytal. Not again. I really don't. These villagers do not deserve this, but then neither do the elves. This is terrible. But let's get Alvin and go. Exactly. What should I do? Find the Fisher King and tell him to be ready. We're going back to Vizima. All right. See you at the lakeside. I want to get Alvin out of here. I can't allow him to be harmed in any way. The little one has come to love you as a son loves a father. We do not kill children. Take him with you. Oh, and what about all those other people? Why did you all have to be stupid? It's a trap! Okay. Alvin, no. Oh. Okay, so we've lost Alvin already. Yeah. What? Are you? I'm leaving. Yes, where am I leaving to? Why is everybody trying to kill me? Don't try and kill me. Teleported. I doubt I'll find him. Are you seriously? Are you kidding me? I shall cut you, Harry. I don't know if it's steel for you. What are you doing, you idiot? I doubt I'll find him. Brilliant. Game of dice, Alvin. Free elves. I refuse to meddle in the conflict. I'm leaving. Which is secret? It's time to return to Vizima and deal with Azar Javed once and for all. Fisher King. Oh, God. That looks kind of nice. Oh. Alright. Fisher King. Where is the Fisher King? Location. I need to go to the lakeside, which is... Which way? Collapsed bridge. Fields. Place of power. Where's the... Where's the bloody lakeside? It wasn't from the fields. Oh, can I not get to it that way? Do I have to go through the fields? That seems a little odd. Yeah, how the hell do I get there? 
It's no longer on my map. Healer's Hut, in, passage to the fields. Okay, you know what? Let's just head off in a direction. What are those? Those look like devourers. That's not the direction I want to head off in, is it? That's the direction I want to head off in. As I've just got out of the village. Well, where did that take us? To the inn! Right, that took us to the fields. That took us to the fields. Let's go to the... F Seriously, I thought there was another entrance. Okay, so we'll cut through the fields to get to the lakeside. God knows where the lakeside bloody entrance has gone. I'm fairly sure there was one before. And almost certainly going to have to fight my way there through tons of monsters. Right, so. Circle of Elements. Campfire. Where's... Where's the bloody lakeside? Really? It's disappeared from my map. How is that a thing? How is that a thing? Devourer. Okay. Pretty good sword, though. We just keep following this? Was there, was there, I think there was something over here to the lakeside, wasn't there? Why has it gone from my map? I had no idea how much I actually relied on that map. Hmm. Is that a signpost up ahead? No. Fireplace. Was a fireplace? Was it there? I'm pretty sure it was here. Wasn't it here? It was here. It was definitely here. Signpost. This is it. This is the. Oh, we're gonna have to fuck the sh oh, That woman was at the Fisher Kings, wasn't she? Of course she was. And we refused to fight the elves. Well, apart from one of them who just kept chasing us. is a good idea, isn't it? Should I get potions at the ready? I suspect I should. If I have to fight my way to the Fisher King, I'm going to. Okay. Wolves. This completely sucks. Why did absolutely everybody have to be utterly determined to go to war? God, they're all annoying. I'm not seeing anyone there yet. Okay, she's not totally aggressive. Can we get past her? Dandelion. Dandelion's that. She can ignore me? She's gonna ignore me. Which makes me want to go and talk to her. I kind of feel like. <sighs> Witcher. What happened? Fucking fanatics, not an ounce of professionalism. They stripped me of my command. When I refused to attack, my adjutant pulled out a letter from Siegfried. Had it all along. Well. Okay. How did it go? Badly. Will you be all right? You're only one woman after all. That's a little condescending. I decided to stay out of the fight. What of the elves? And I don't care who won. The victors should arrive at any moment. It's not Time to abandon this post. The Fisher King's boat is taken. We'll meet again. 
Okay. I must updated free elves quest updated it appears that Rayla did not go back on her word based on a secret order the adjutant has stripped her of a command let's assume I believe it okay so she wasn't using me to get at the elves at least that's something she's vaguely honorable it's dandelion all right dude Gerald yeah this is bad yeah <laughs> This is bad. Really bad. What happened? Alvin opened a portal and disappeared. He could be anywhere. We need to get back to Vizima. Triss might have some ideas. Vizima it is, then. After you. Okay. And I have to put up with Dandelion singing the entire way. Oh! Okay. Okay, did they kill your owner? Oh, God. Gee. I kind of wish you'd got your head smashed in, but at least I'm hoping they saved the villagers. Please tell me they saved the villagers at the very least. We arrive in Vizima soon. Hmm. Smell that? Yeah. Smoke. Something's burning. Heavy and stifling. Like thatched roof huts. Damn it, Geralt, look! Of course it's burning. God damn it, Geralt. I can't believe what I'm seeing. You should be used to the sight of fighting by now, Dandelion. We should never grow accustomed to violence and horror, especially the sensitive among us. Luckily, we mutants have no feelings, is that what you mean? Shut up and tell me what you're doing. Barangar's letter contains some clues. To start with, we need to get into the city. That will be neither easy nor safe. I agree, but I won't give up now that I'm so close. Nose to the ground, forging on. You're like a bloodhound on a fresh trail. Old Vizima awaits. Probably the site of the heaviest fighting, then there's the plague. We need to get inside. Finally, I'll find out who's behind Salamandra. Geralt? Um... I'd like something stood. You're gonna act as an innkeeper? Apparently so. Uh... Strange... And vaguely useful, but mostly strange. However, yeah, thanks. <laughs>